Look at verse number one. The Bible says, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live and my law is the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister and call understanding thy kinswoman that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. Verses one, two, three, four are talking about being very diligent about, hey, listen to this instruction. Hey, keep this wisdom. I mean, have it right in front of you. Make sure you got this. Don't forget this. Why? To keep you from the strange woman. Four verses dedicated to, to, to making, stressing the importance of make sure you get this down. Keep this with you for your whole life. Don't stray from this wisdom right here. Why? To keep you from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. An example of a foolish young man who goes after the strange woman and the results of that. And we see a lot from this story right here about just the way things are. That flattery is a big one. Okay, men, watch out for the women that are going to flatter with their mouth. Because there's a lot of, you know, it's not just men that are going after the strange woman. There's women, too, that are, that are going after the men. Well, she knows I'm married, so that can't possibly be the case. Don't be naive. Okay, there's plenty of women out there that don't care if you're married or not. There's even some women out there that make it more of a sport to get the married man, to get the saved Christian married man to fall. So be aware and watch out for the flattery and don't get puffed up in your pride. Oh, wow, this person thinks I'm so great and just eat up the flattery of, of the lips to lower your guard to do something that you should never do. Look at verse number six. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. Simple means they're ignorant, they're unlearned. They're kind of dumb. Ending. And see, this is what happened when you don't have any understanding. Okay? We want you to have understanding. Listen to this. Passing through the street near her corner. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. So he's going the wrong way and definitely at the wrong time. If you pay attention, you know, things, as I mentioned before, these things don't just happen as, just without, just for no purpose, right? There are ways where these people hang out. The person here we're talking about, this, this adulterous woman or this, this loose woman, this whore, this harlot, right? They live in a certain area. Generally speaking, there's going to be people, there's going to be areas that for certain you definitely don't want to be around. Okay, you don't want to be going by the areas of temptation. You don't want to be going by the, the you know, we call them the strip clubs or the, the red light districts or whatever you call it, you know, the areas where you're going to have this, it's just known to have women that are going to um, try to seduce you. Okay, why go by that way? Avoid it altogether. The same way that you ought to be avoiding the alcohol aisle. Just don't, have, don't even put that in front of your eyes. You know, at night, that's when most sinful things happen anyways. Obviously, they can happen any time of the day or night, but generally speaking, the, the, the darkness happens at, at night, literally in darkness. Because people want to hide what they're doing. They want to conceal, they want to cover up their sins, and most sins happen at night. And behold, <coughs> there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. So watch out for the women that are dressed like a harlot. Whether they're a harlot or not, you know, watch out for that. It's a big red flag. 